Zadar is what you have on the breakfast table in every Palestinian home, wherever they are across the world. Hi, I'm Chef Fadi Kaplan and we're here in Bethlehem with my friends in Anera. Today we're going to talk about Zadar. Zadar 101 is there now. Zadar is a herb called Oregano Syriaca. It's a native indigenous herb here. Zadar has this very particular taste. A bit bitter, a bit spicy. A good zatar is something you feel right here at the tip of your tongue, the spiciness of it. The fresh zatar, once it's dried, is those leaves that we have right here. If we're talking about zatar as the zatar mix, there's as many zatar mixes as there are Palestinian families. Every family has their own mix. For me, Zatar is the ground leaves of zatar, sesame seeds, sumac, and salt, and that's it. For others, people will add ground chickpeas sometimes in it, people will add different spices in it. It's really a question of taste. I get my zatar from a little spice shop in Bethlehem called Orient Mills. They've been making spices since 1936. Why I get it there? It's because that's where my grandmother used to take me to get zaka. That's where my mother buys her zaka today. But I sometimes do what we have here, which is I dry the leaves, I ground them, and I make my own mix of zaka. You can buy zaka today anywhere in the world. There are a lot of Palestinian producers that are exporting zaka. The only advice I would give is make sure the zat that you're getting is oregano syriaca and it's not a mix of green herbs, dried green herbs, because I've seen this in certain places across the world where what is labeled zatar mix is a treaty zatar. I have a few dishes where I love using zatar. One of them sounds out of the ordinary maybe, but I think zatar works beautifully with chocolate. So when I do a chocolate mousse, I sometimes infuse the cream I'm using with zatar, and it'll have that kick of zatar in the chocolate, not chocolate. More traditionally, I love doing ajja, which is an omelette in the morning with fresh zatar leaves, parsley, a bit of onions, a bit of chili of shatta. Try zatar because it's the perfect excuse to take a piece of bread, dunk it in Palestinian olive oil, and in Palestinian zatar. So you're getting three tastes of Palestine in one month. Batar is just one very small part of Palestinian cuisine and culture. Go to Anera's website to learn more about Palestinian culture and all the communities Anera works with in Palestine. Happy Zatar Day. And I hope you're all dunking some zatar right now as we speak.